Uh, all right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. How all my adventures doing? Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be a little bit of a developer note for the Unreal Engine. Because I did say I was going to save up a little bit of money and see what, you know, some Unreal Engine developers are capable of. And see if I could find one that's skilled in RPG. I did find one. Uh, but they won't be available until the 26th, so I kind of have to wait until then. In the meantime, my Godot developer, I haven't really, like, had much contact with. He hasn't really said too much. So, I gotta see what's up with that sooner or later. I just don't want to, you know, be very press-heavy or anything like that. I say it's been, like, two or three months now. I don't think it was like anything like significant I asked, but I gotta also think that people have lives and things they have to deal with. But um this is the new map for the Unreal. Uh it's a very large map, larger than I would love it to be. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't specify it too much. There is a lot of um assets using this map because i actually recognize some stuff but um it's fine because it's supposed to be a placeholder anyway just to give like you know a basis uh, i do have another person who's working on a model you know just to see if you know they can make a map that fits my game and if that goes on like really well if she actually does a good job on that we will be slowly piecing that map together and getting that done there's quite a lot of things that need to get done and it's for what i seen on the order it's going to take like a week for this house to get done and we can see what goes on with that and with that said before i keep going thank you guys for all the support on the muzzle girls utopia starter remakes i really do appreciate the kind words and everybody being interested in it i'm happy that you guys are very interested in it like it actually does get me excited and motivated to try and get this out as fast as possible as fast as possible within my money because <laughs> like i said i work and i really don't have the time to try and learn development myself and try to get into that so i kind of you know have to hire fiber developers who can you know put in the basics get that ready and then i can go in and you know change stuff put stuff there and get it going i am pretty much the producer <laughs> that's the easiest way of saying it i am the producer the director i'm directing of how the game is going but yeah there's a lot of fun and neat stuff ideas that i have going on i will try and upload more videos about monster girl utopia but like i said most of my most of the stuff I post about Monster Girl Utopia is in the community tab of my YouTube channel. That is where you'll mostly find details and stuff about it. Most of the time I will post on there. And then I do have the Patreon Discord. Which I am slowly getting back active into. And I can just show you guys the Philo Encounter sketch. You know, a little bit of exclusive for what's going on right now. I haven't really posted in here a lot because the only person in here is Alice and Alice is in my main, <laughs> my main discord. <laughs> so I haven't really had a reason to post in here, but I'm going to start trying to be more active, get this discord going. I have a few like older concept arts made by, uh, made by my, my, uh, second artist, but I haven't really gotten any concepts from her right now because like I said, my budget has extremely decreased. From 500 a month to 300 a month. So I got to keep that going. So I haven't been able to go into getting new songs made for the game. So I still only have those three that I have on a channel. And I haven't been able to go into getting backgrounds for the battle scenes made yet. Because I am focusing on getting remakes and getting the map and getting a developer. That pretty much takes all 300 and sometimes I dip a little bit over that 300 a month and it, 
it kind of gets risky <laughs> a little bit. So yeah, I'm playing Money Manager Simulator right now. <laughs> so we're getting that going. So I do have suggestions for Discord, the Patreon, like what rewards would you guys prefer, stuff like that. And you know, you guys can actually give it in this video. What what rewards would you guys like to see on a Discord or the Patreon? Like, what rewards would you guys, you know, be interested in? Because I haven't really came up with any major rewards to get people interested in the um, Patreon. So I haven't really been posting on it because it wasn't really, you know, my channel was like more of in the shadows if I should say it was buried in the shadows so nobody had ever like really seen too much of it and I couldn't really like build a community of it because I I have this principle and this sort of pride that actually is the detriment of my channel <laughs> that I hate advertising myself I don't like advertising myself because I feel like I should be able to grow and pe and just pull people in with, you know, my personality. My personality is pretty chilled and ongoing. It's just not... I'm just not, like, overreact Andy or over-expressive Andy. <laughs> I, I can't do any of that. I'm, I'm mostly chilled most of the time. I do make stupid dark jokes, too. So that's fun most of the time. Anywho, I'll show you guys the map now. I will say... Whenever um, that developer is is available, this model will be replaced. Uh, this is just a placement holder just to show you guys around a little bit. As I say, this map is too large. Uh, I wanted to make a smaller map to where frames wouldn't become an issue. So we're going to be doing that down the road. Because this right here. Oh shit. Hold on. I have board whistle on. That has to go. I just clicked off of it. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that frame drop is also because of coding too. So that's gonna be a fun thing to do is getting optimized as well down the road. Plus there is yeah, there is no optimization. Everything's on ultra right now I can walk through rocks I can walk through trees you gotta do something about that as well that's actually hilarious <laughs> but um what else uh, after we get done with the remakes which I think I believe I have 10 more monster girls that I currently have that are you know official designs that need remade and redesigned then we can start getting into the new ones the concepts I had because I have concept arts that I never like you know got made into actual monster girls and those are a little bit more on the creepier side once we start getting to those because creepy monster girls is something that you guys asked for the last time we did a poll and I never could get to it before the uh, remake started we have a lake over here. I told them to add a lake because there is... Well, they asked if they if I wanted the lake. Just because there was a big empty space over here. I was like, yeah, why not? Because I have some ideas I can actually add to this. But I didn't expect this map to be like... This large when he showed me it. I did ask for the walls to come in a little bit. But I guess I worded it wrong for them. So we're just gonna keep this I mean it's fine to be honest I say I'm not like too pressed about it I just needed the placeholder map to where we can actually like get the bases going and everything I say that and I guess after they do the whole movement thing I would probably end up getting graphic settings in next for the next order as well I was wondering if I wanted like interior like design along with the houses but I was like nah I want to teleport the player into that zone or into that house interior 
just because they would cause a lot more cluttering and lag than I would need it to be. And I want the player to actually, you know, not have to experience all that lag of something having like multiple things on the screen at once. Because walking into the house with all that like little mini furniture stuff, especially having like all these rocks over here as well, is something I want to kind of avoid. And I was talking about assets. Sorry, ADHD kicked in and I kind of like changed off, directed off course. But the assets here are placeholders because a lot of these are like private things from his library. And some of them really don't uh, look right. As you can see, they don't they don't fit here. <laughs> So like I said, we'll slowly be changing all of this and the camera shouldn't be doing that, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> There's a lot of things we're going to have to like clean up here. And I guess I would say he pretty much kept it to a T, honestly. I say it's not too bad, but it is way larger than I would need it to be. This is the beach area. There's the ship in the docks all the way out there. And there is the storage house, which is all the way over here. <laughs> like, I might have to kind of learn um, landscaping, if anything, and kind of fix a lot of this. That's the main thing I want to do. If I ever do want to keep this map, but like I said, I don't think we are. If the other model, like Mayor, she actually, you know, knows 3D, 3D modeling. So I'm curious of how she's going to do it. If it actually turns out to be well, I'm going to let her like do the environmental map and everything like that. I just need to save up the money for that. But with that progress, everything's going great. So if you guys are curious, if it's a 3D game. No, it is not. Technically, well, yes and no. It is three. It is 2D sprites and 3D world. It is kind of like Octopath Traveler. That is the plan for the game. That is what direction I am heading with the game. I want it to be 2D slash 3D world and have it like, you know, blend, look, look like a whole new game. It's either that I'm going with this camera angle right here or I'm going with this camera angle right here. But a little bit more zoomed out. I think this one over the, sh over the head a little bit could also be like very good. Then when players want to look up, it has a very limited to where it looks up right there. I don't know. I said there's a lot of things that I have to, you know, think of, brainstorm. There's plenty of um, ideas I've gotten from this uh, concept map, though. Lots of ideas, actually. Uh, the main thing that does not fit in this map is that there is a Asian-style house here. <laughs> so yeah, he definitely chose any asset out of his library, which is fine. Like I said, placeholders. They will be, you know, the map will be changed over time. I just needed a map for the Unreal just to try out and see if I could find a developer in that. And if you guys don't realize by now, this is a Fiverr project to where I hire on people to help me create a game. So that's why I've been sticking to Fiverr and not just been going on Twitter or any other place. Because I want to see if I can actually build a full game using Fiverr by searching for the right people. And it's actually been a fun journey because I've met a whole bunch of cool people and actually like gotten to know them and, you know, talk with them a bit. Have I talked with the older ones I've worked with before? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, actually, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, especially when I need something. <laughs> but I can't really like just, you know, take time out of their day and just mess with them. That's kind of my thought process because if I was just to mess with them it's like it's like kind of annoying especially if I'm not ordering anything that's my thought process 
as a it, hey I can't also talk to them anyway because like I said I don't have the money just to start ordering from them and just you know start that conversation stuff like that but I, I will go back to those people especially my my music my music uh, designer like he he was actually like very good I love the songs he made for the game you're probably hearing it in the background right now I placed it there that is a song that he made it's on a channel all three songs are on a channel you have the rival song for uh Zin who is the rival of the game then you also have the battle music as well along with the music you're probably hearing which is the overall music that I've used a lot on the channel because I like I said can't just start dipping money everywhere right now because I can only focus on two to three things per month as long as that budget is in place so with that said ah oh, man I, I it kind of stressed me out that <laughs> that that video actually went off like popped off randomly just because now I have expectations <laughs> to meet and I will try and meet them as long as I can hopefully nothing goes on and I can you know keep doing this and keep getting it out there because this is like a game I've always wanted to like make like a creature collector type game but I also wanted to put my own ideas and spins on it so if you guys haven't read the comment I replied to somebody with Monster Girl Utopia is basically a creature collector slash dungeon crawler or going to be a dungeon crawler to where you go into dungeons instances and you know fight monster girls tame them but it's not going to be with like spears or spells or anything like that it's going to be the old anime logic the uh, easy kai logic of uh guilds to where you would slay a monster and they would drop a crystal i want to make like either monster crystals to it that you can sell and the special crystals that is the monster girl that you can revive so a monster has a chance of dropping said crystals uh legendaries are guaranteed to drop special crystals that that's a guarantee i don't want to i don't want to jip anybody out that but there's a lot of planning that's going on into that i just wanted to make this video to you know kind of follow up on that and get and you know give a little bit more detail because a lot of people have been asking questions about Monster Girl Utopia and I sort of have to deliver that <laughs> and now so yeah my bad dude my my brain is all over the place I just got home ADHD is just popping the fuck off <laughs> I'm jumping I didn't even make a like a notebook script or anything like that I just I just said fuck it let's spitball it that let's get the true experience of being on the spot <laughs> but thankfully i did find a dev developer who was willing to work with me now price wise could probably be a little bit over what i would want it to be but that's fine just a little bit over my budget i would just have to you know compensate for something else which means i can't immediately go into another order so if it comes to the developer needing a little bit more then i would not order the next uh model for the map and make that sacrifice which is which is fine that's not that's no big deal to me i say it just means that it will take a lot longer for the actual map to get done which is cool so be it but the monster will re redesigns and development is guarantee as much as I can within that month okay but yeah I like the map for a placeholder you have to like the trees okay I'm going through all the trees hold on let me just cheese you guys want to see how big this map is yeah here it is i do plan on like make 
if I do keep the basics of this map, I do plan on having like teleport crystals. If she can't do like uh, environments, which, but I think she can because I've I've seen some of her work is actually pretty impressive. But um, yeah, teleport crystals would be the smartest idea just to get from point A to point B without having players like run all the way across the map and get lost because there is no like distinct like very distinct things here when you start going through like the woods and stuff like that 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 could actually end up being an issue as well hmm. i might have signs that lead people places too that could also be another thing that i could probably get done if i was to keep the basics of this map that being said just note that I can just totally scrap this whole map. <laughs> but honestly, just for being assets and him just putting putting the map together, not how bad. Not how bad at all. Uh, these are my sprites also. I wonder if I can like show them. Can I just bring up this and here's the starting character sprite uh the main character action might get redesigned as well that's the thing once these monster girls get caught up it's either going to be i get my sprite sheet for the main character done or i just keep him this way and get an artist that does NPCs as a concept, and we just get the NPCs done by my uh, sprite artists. Here's the second one. These are both male characters. I haven't had the female characters done because I, I didn't want to go like too deep into that. Then having to, you know, if I was going to dedicate myself to the re getting the main characters redesigned that could be an issue i don't want to put too much stress on mono <laughs> that, that that's the thing i say like, they're enjoying the monster girl designs i don't want to just throw in the npc designs on them too because i'm not even sure how many people are working with mono as well because i don't mind having you know somebody else do somebody else within mono doing like you know npc concepts or stuff like that as a that that's just a thing i trust mono because they they have been working with me for like a year or so now and they actually are like you know very good at following my ideas that i have and exceeding the expectations i had for the, the initial design and just blowing it completely out of water because when I made a, let's say Philo, for example, um, or Philo, the the initial design was just an owl girl like staring into your soul. So I was expecting just like big eyes, just creepiness, just going and staring into your soul. I was thinking to myself, how could you make? an owl girl attractive that stares into your soul and by the gods they did it <laughs> so i'm looking forward to this design getting done they're doing an outline right now it should be done by april the 2nd that's the end date of the order then we will be going to the next monster girl which will be a secret into like the actual sketch is done and i will be doing the um, I guess yeah yeah actually yeah i will do it that way i'm gonna be uploading as soon as like a monster girls is done and evolution wise like if there's a two-step evolution of a monster girl i will upload the video for that if it's just a one one step evolving girl is just like doesn't have any evolutions or anything i'll upload that but if it's like three stages i'll wait to upload a video showing that off as well uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I really don't 
upload the finished designs on um, my community tab is mostly either my Patreon or my Discord that gets to see those. I mean, the Patreon is also, you know, free as well. It is just something wrong with me to where I just don't like posting like the finished design on YouTube <laughs> unless, you know, it's the actual like set of it. And then I give you guys like a close up design, close up look of like the actual like design itself through video. Because if you guys actually go through the tab, you guys see, you know, all of the forms down the line together. I just upload that instead of just instead of just uploading the finish by itself. And I think I'm just rambling on at this point. What else? What else is there that I wanted to say? Um, talk about the budget and everything. And it's it's gonna be a while before I have a playable version of this that people can just run around and test out. And obviously, there's gonna be frame issues because, like I said, this map is huge and has a lot of asset and clutter on it. But that will get better over time. That is my goal. But Mustard Girl Utopia will also be 2D when it comes to like combat. I chose Unreal because the lighting effects and the special effects are something I want in my game. And it's funny because a while ago people were like, hey, dude, this this engine doesn't fit your project and I'm just sitting here like that's for me to decide that is for me to decide if I can make my game in this engine or not and if it fits that so I'm doing this now just to see where this will head because if it actually works in Unreal Engine there's going to be a lot of lighting and cool ideas that I can implement into this and I will be very excited on how everything will transition. So I'm looking forward to it personally and looking forward to the challenge and, you know, getting to know a lot more people on Fiverr that are working with me on this project. Because by the gods, if this project becomes successful, those people will be getting <laughs> a lot more than my budget is going on right now. Like, tip-wise, for, like, helping me so much, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to get it all together. Like I said, my budget right now is keeping me from, like, hugely tipping them or giving them tips in general. And, sucks, because I would love to. <laughs> but, it's fine. If this takes off, oops, but if this takes off at the end of the project, yeah, or, you know, at least into the Patreon, you just, you know, starts booming. I can start giving them a lot more. And I can actually, if this actually goes on to where the Patreon just, you know, fully can support me, I can put all of my effort into the game, getting ideas done, getting everything that I need in place, getting so much music that it will start a whole soundtrack <laughs> that you guys will enjoy. Trust me, I have a lot of song ideas. I've been just just saving up a whole list. And I have a lot of, lot of interesting dungeon designs in mind. That is, that's another thing I have to do is find a concept artist for maps as well. And layouts and like, you know, like actual like concepts towards like mapping because I would like to use those as loading screens that where you like loading in and they show the, like the classic image of the cave that's empty you know it has like these cool designs and everything I kind of want to do that but also I do want to start doing like art contests and having people you know later down the road once we get all our monster girls caught up start doing like art contests to where people can you know get their chance of their own monster girl being in the game or something something like that or concept art for you know 
pretty much anything to be, you know, into the game. Who knows? I, I do want to try and at my hardest to build a community here. So just work with me. As I've said before, I play a lot of different games on my channel just because I am still a YouTuber as well. YouTuber and streamer. I am a content creator always and I like making memories on this channel. So that's always going to be a thing. So sorry if I don't post anything about Muzzle Girl Utopia or you're waiting for anything like that. Hopefully you can join me on a journey of if I play something interesting, <laughs> which will mostly be on the weekends when I play like random stuff with friends that are in a group or something, which nine out of 10 right now I am posting uh, Grand Fantasia because Grand Fantasia is something I've grown up with and enjoy and I'm traveling between private servers and, you know, meeting a tons of new people, getting to know them, and just basically um, enjoying life, making a whole bunch of memories of what I can. I say I don't want to, you know, just completely neglect friends and stuff like that. I, I want to play with friends and chill, hang out with them, and enjoy my life. I'm making this game. With that said, hopefully you guys will continue to support me and help out with that i say if you guys want to you know share the video around reddit anything i would highly appreciate that and get some more traction here as i say because it's going to be a very very busy year for me especially since it's terrible because i keep saying this it is a year for gaming for me there are so many games coming out that I have my brain is overloading to where it's like procrastinate. It's like, no, <laughs> then I have to throw the game off to the side. Dragon Dogma 2 is coming out. I already played the first one, like when I was a kid when it first released and I will be playing the second one <laughs> hands down. Like there, there's no if, ands or buts about that. That is happening. So yeah, lots of game this year, lots of games with well, that's a I'm just rambling on now. I'm I'm yapping. Yap master over here. Anyway, to then. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Grand Fantasia videos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I'm just very happy that I got to meet so many people and you know, gotten to talk to so many so many new people who are new to the channel as well. Get Getting a chance to talk about Monster Girl Utopia excites me as well. Maybe I'll do like a Q&A later on down the road. You guys will have to keep an eye out for that. If I post a video about a Q&A, eh, leave as many questions as you guys can. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry if I cut off like any sentence that I said in this video. Like I said, I have ADHD. My brain just completely jumps to the next topic and just completely forget what the fuck I was talking about earlier. So if you guys have any other questions, fuck it. If you guys have any questions, put it down below in the comments and I will do an actual Q&A if you made it this far. If if not, I will post a Q&A video and be like, hey, I'm ready for the Q&A. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm going to I'm going to stop yapping. Yap master. Stop it. <laughs>